Hey guys, welcome to your ninth Roblox so GUI scripting tutorial. And by request of a user earlier today, I'm going to show you guys how to add a shaking effect to the custom health GUI that we made yesterday. So, I'm going to go into a local script and let's get started. So, uh, let's make it shake if health goes below 40. To do that, we're going to use the health changed event again. We're going to add an if statement. If humanoid.health is less than 40, then we're going to make it start shaking. So, factor equals 1. I'll show you while we're making this variable in a little bit. While wait, do. Mm, we got to decide how we want it to rotate. I'd say. We can make it go to here and back. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good rotation. Script.parent.parent. Dot rotation equals script.parent.parent. Dot, dot rotation minus factor. So essentially, we're subtracting one from the rotation constantly. Test what we have so far. And as you can see, we're most definitely not done because it doesn't actually uh, rotate back and forth like we want it to. It just goes in a big circle. So, uh, if the humanoid's health goes above 40, we want to make it stop. So I'll do that real quick. If humanoid.health uh, is greater than 40, then script.parent.rotation equals zero to set it back to normal and then we're going to use the keyword break and if you guys don't know what break does it essentially just breaks a loop imagine cutting a thread in half with a pair of scissors it won't loop around anymore it'll just stop and break so uh, test again again we're most certainly not done because we gotta make it go back Rotation, and the reason we are doing script dot parent dot parent dot rotation instead of uh, this frame is because if we did just this frame, it'll look pretty weird, and I think we're gonna agree on that. So now we're gonna set up a changed <coughs> a changed event script dot parent dot parent change connect function. The reason we want to do this is because we have to detect whenever it's reached the rotation of 10 or a negative 10 so we can tell it when to go back. So uh, since we're subtracting 1 from it until it reaches negative 10, what we can do to make it go back is change factor to negative 1. So essentially uh, rotation minus negative 1 is rotation plus 1. So we're adding instead of subtracting. We'll script dot parent dot parent dot rotation equals negative ten, then factor equals negative one. Else, if because we want to handle uh, the other possibility that it's at ten equals ten, then factor equals one. So we set it back to normal, and let's see how this works. 35 and it's going back and forth woo let's wait till it gets to 40 and it's back to normal 39 damage again shakes 38 shake 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 and I do believe we're done here um, yeah so that's how to make your thingy of cool effects your custom health GUI uh, let's I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to change the color of it to red, too. So, uh, right now it's green. So, if you guys don't know about background color 3, uh, which I explored in one of my previous GUI tutorials, it's a color 3 value that goes by red, the first uh, number, green, then blue. 
So let's switch the red and green values to see what we get. 47, 255, to pink. I wanted it to be like an exact opposite of the green in red, if that makes sense. But uh, we'll just choose another color. Maybe a bit lighter. Meh. We'll just stick with pure red. 25, 0, 0. Yeah, so if it's below 40, then script.parent, because we're editing the top bar now with color. Dot background color 3 equals color 3 dot new uh, 255, 255, 0, 255, and 0 of 255. And the reason we divide by 255 is because 255 is the max value for a color 3. And if we want to set a new color 3 value, that's just what we have to do to make it work. So uh, if it's below 40, we'll make it red. I'll copy and paste this down here. If it's above 40, we'll make it this. Uh, turn it back to normal. Do, 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 do. All right, let's try this. Mm, no. Play solo. 35 red. Let's wait for it to go back to 40. And back to green. Cool. Alright, guys, I think that's all I'm going to do here for today. If you guys want me to go over something certain about GUIs in the next tutorial, then please comment and let me know what to make because I love getting feedback from you guys. I love making what you guys want me to show you how to make. So, until next time.